Hey guys, it's Xander Genere for Red Carpet Report. I'm here at the Sense8 finale. Uh, Red Carpet, there's going to be the stars of Sense8 walking in. Uh, they're going to see the finale for the first time. I'm so excited. I'm a huge fan of the series. Well, let's just get right to the interviews. We'll see you there. <laughs> yeah, right? <laughs> My bathroom would be a wreck. <laughs> Sparkly wreck, and that's the good thing. Yeah, <laughs> you ready? Uh, well, thank you so much for joining us tonight. Thank you. I love your look. Look thank at you. look at camera. Moment for camera. Yay! Oh well, I've already done it. <laughs> uh, but how does it feel slipping back into this character for maybe the last time? Um, bittersweet. I was uh, really happy to come back and give some sort of ending to the character and story. Um, it was, but it's also really sad because I mean it's such a joy, right? Shooting on this project, you know the the, the names associated with it. I love Netflix as a platform. I love my storyline. Um, so to say something as big as this, I mean, this is possibly the fanciest project I've done. So to say bye to it is, of course, for me personally, very sad. Also, the show is very, very well recognized and um, it's truly loved. You know, it's not one of those in passing sort of shows. And so it's just an honor to be a part of it. And then just because of that, really sad that it's the end. Right. Yeah. Well, and especially because she has such an empowering arc overall. Uh, can you speak to like kind of her finding her footing is especially as a, a, an empowered woman in maybe a, a restricted society? Yeah. Well, I, I just think that she wasn't considering herself restricted. I feel like she was just being uh, a dutiful and she didn't want to hurt anybody. She's just really sensitive to everyone's feelings, which I love about her character. You know, it's not just, she, she's not selfish and she don't, doesn't only think about herself. For her, other people's happiness matter equally. Mm. Not more, but equally. Um, and so then to have to take that really bold step of doing something that she wants that could possibly ruin her her family her husband's family her husband so many things um, and then the way it ends that the way it does I don't want there's no spoilers no spoilers but I mean it's just such a cool way of addressing that situation that she's in I'm like duh of course like that's just the coolest way to deal with the situation um, so yeah I mean I think it's very surprising you know all of the all of the ways that she chooses to deal with her problems and it's in a way a great takeaway for me as well to you know to open your mind and think out of the box whenever you're facing a problem yeah. Uh, and then this series is very uh, particular for the LGBT community. Uh, it's very important. Can you speak a little bit about that, of either fans reaching out to you or, or your experience with that? Well, it's been a huge learning curve for me. I, I knew very little about uh, any LGBT issues before this show. I had a few gay makeup artists in Bombay, in Mumbai. Um, but, you know, they seem to have perfectly happy lives. I, I knew they couldn't get married or something or couldn't come out. But other than that, they seem to be really happy. Uh, but there are so many more issues that I have uh, been exposed to over these four years. And... Um, I mean, I really feel like, you know, there's been a huge change in their status also in the last four years. Pride has helped things hugely. The exposure, the sort of awareness that's been spread because of that's amazing. Um, the show has helped with that. It's given people recognition. It's given me um, an understanding of things. It's, it almost makes me f give, it, I feel like I have a responsibility to try and explain these things or bring awareness uh, or education to it to my country uh, because a lot of people are like, so you tell me about this because I know it personally it's not just hearsay or whatever so I mean I love I mean I think that the nicest people in the world the most the fun fun loving you know people in the world because they're a good mix of everything and so I really feel like the day that you know there's no dis di distinction would be um, I mean and to me it's almost there sure. you know so I'm really happy yeah. to, to be ex to experience all of that well, as part of the community, thank you so much for the hard work that you're doing, too. Oh, it really means you. a lot. Yeah, I mean, I love Pride. I look, can't wait to do the one in L.A. Yeah. Uh, but the one in Brazil was massive, like some four million or something. Yeah. And it's just this such happy people. Did you just it, come back from Brazil with everybody else? Yes. How yes. was it? Well, I took off on a secret holiday as well to Rio. Yeah, that was, oh my God, <laughs> such a pretty place, such a pretty city. I want to settle down there. Um, because it's a good mixture of a, of a, of a, of a party city, uh, a, a holiday holiday destination and you can work ah. so it's just great but Sao Paulo's energy is also amazing like the fans there are intense like really passionate but really respectful oh, and um, yeah I mean I just I, how, how can you not love Brazil <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> well thank you so much for chatting with us tonight thank you
Thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this video, make sure that you subscribe, click the like button, and leave a comment down below.